Guys, Wayfair is not selling children. Stop asking me if Wayfair is selling children. Just because you saw an extremely expensive file cabinet for $15,000 on Wayfair does not mean that they're selling children in those cabinets. This is Pizzagate all over again. Are there international sex trafficking rings? Absolutely. Are they operating out of the basement of a pizza shop? No. No. Just like they're not operating in front of your eyes at Wayfair.com where people purchase affordable bookshelves and shit. Affordable usually, not those, uh, not those things that they were selling though. There are pillows for $10,000 that share the name of missing girls. What? Dude, why the fuck would they use the same naming convention? Dude, okay, someone, someone link me like uh, the threads. All right, we're going into it. Oh, shit. Here we go again. So it's a 3A. It's, so it's 3 a.m. and I'm down Wayfair, sex trafficking rabbit hole. Something doesn't sit right. The Samia five shelf storage cabinet by WFX Utility being sold for $13,000. Missing from Columbus, Ohio, 17-year-old Samia Moomin. Human. Yuritsa storage cabinet by WFX Utility. Yuritsa Castro, missing since June 10th, 20, uh, 2020. Uh, okay, that's really sus. Annabelle Wilson. Annabelle, five-shell storage cabinet by WFX Utility. $10,000. Age uh, now 14. Missing since May 13th, 2020. Replies point out if you customize the item, it automatically adds 10000 to the price. Okay, that is really sus. They've been listed under those names for like two years. Yeah, okay, there you go. Owned. Conspiracy is over. Four months ago, Kyla Coleman is 16. Kyla Five Shell Storage Cabinet by WFX Utility. Yeah, by the way, I already I already said this before, but like, y'all need to fucking figure out children prices, okay? Like, people aren't buying children for 15 grand. That's like the going rate for three high class escort sessions like actual semi legal prostitution is like 5 grand a uh, uh, a piece like children are not going to be sold for 15 grand like it's just a psychotic thing and they're also not going to do it over the fucking wayfair website what wealthy person who is engaging in international sex trafficking is going to the bargain bin website to buy overpriced furniture why would it be done through furniture. Good ass Truanon tweet about it. 35 year old Condon asked employee, the Zoomers have abolished gender and are maybe going to do full communism? Actual Zoomer, you can order a filing cabinet with a little girl in it for $9,000. Yeah. Waco six piece storage cabinet. Percent spends all of his donor money Bro, on cocaine. this is insane. It's a place in America. Of course they're gonna have a bunch of random ass names, dude. What, what, is, the, what is the assertion here? Wait, it also says, Enjoy little things. What do they mean by this? <laughs> Bro, you're streaming. Stop trying to buy children. Okay. I love the storage unit. It went together easily and the shipping time was amazing. Josephine from Stockton. Well, they obviously, it went together easily. Like saying like the, this, the raping did. Why are you reaching so hard to cover it up? I'm not reaching hard to cover it up. It's fucking psychotic. Shower curtains listed for $9,999. A similar item on the website were listed for only 99. I don't know. Maybe someone accidentally fucking hit nine twice when they were putting the price in. Are you saying that 10 to 15K is too much or too little for a kid? I would assume it's too little for a fucking kid. Also, this is like available on the website, dog. Not this, but what if you're looking for a fucking file cabinet and you accidentally buy one? What do you do then? You just have a kid ship to you? Let's see what the more realistic uh, thing is here. Instead of writing 99.99, they wrote 9999 and forgot to put the dot right there. How do they send this one, dude? You think they wrapped the child around the shower curtain? If you search bungalow rows, a bunch of shower curtains and pillows show up at price at 9,000, whatever. Wafers are trafficking children. What the fuck? Same with other things. They all have big price jumps like 10 grand. Wafer also supplies furniture at ice detention centers. Our children are going missing from. Oh yeah, yeah. Again, shred of truth, shred of truth. 
with like insane nonsense. I ordered one love seed from Wayfair. It was the last one. I'm gonna be pissed if I get a kid instead. <laughs> the truth is Wayfair was supplying furniture to family detention centers and rampant sexual abuse occurred in those facilities. That is the truth. The additional psychotic falsehoods is assuming that they're selling children. There would be a better dark web style way to do this, guys. You know what sounds more realistic? Like a promoter for the wealthy accidentally telling Sasha Baron Cohen on camera, on hidden camera, that he could supply Sasha Baron Cohen with a child if he wanted to. That is how the wealthy would operate. Not this. Uh, they got you? Hassan Piker cabinet, small header version. $821. Lel. It's not just the expensive shit. Look up any SKU number with a girl's name on the product and then the USSRC afterwards. They're also deleting postings left and right. Dude, come on, Zoomers. Okay, this one isn't even expensive. It's $34. Yeah, Wayfair is selling children now for $34. You see how this doesn't make a lot of sense when you think about it a little bit? Generally speaking, the image is showing expensive cabinets and large price differentials on pillows are real. However, it takes quite a leap of logic to arrive at the conclusion that this evidence that the store is engaged in child trafficking. In fact, the more we pondered this claim, the more nonsensical it appeared. Would a large business really use their official website to allow people to purchase children online? As these items are available on to anyone with internet access, wouldn't it be possible for someone to accidentally become involved in child trafficking? Why would a child trafficking operation use a method that would be so easy to track? Like, imagine a YouTuber engaging in, like, one of the craziest item uh, hauls, you know what I mean? As they do from time to time. And then they, like, buy a $9,000 uh, uh, shower curtain as a meme to put in their YouTube video. And then there's a kid in it. I have shopped at Wayfair, and I am pleased with my child. Right. Would adopt again. 1010. Feels good, my dude. <laughs> there is, of course, no truth to these claims. These products in question are industrial-grade cabinets that are accurately priced. Recognizing that the photos and descriptions provided by supplier did not adequately explain the high price point, we have temporarily removed the products from site to rename them and to provide a more in-depth description and photos that accurately the depict justice. the product you to clarify the price point. Than... The claim that Wayfair is tra trafficking children is based almost entirely on one person's confusion over an expensive cabinet. This conspiracy theory, like many conspiracy theories, started with a wild and unfounded assumption that would be sickening if it were actually true. As of this writing, absolutely no credible evidence has been offered to back up this accusation. Here's one girl they used to sell this conspiracy. You're gonna post about me being missing, you don't even know me. And then your caption sounds retarded. Would this be true? Would this be something if this was true? Nigga, why are you posting people talking about they're missing if you don't even know if they're missing? There you go. Why get angry over people being concerned like she should clear up the situation and move on? Dude, these, this is a person with like significant cognitive functions diminished, I think. Like, she, they're mad at her? The sex traffickers made her do this, yeah. Read the rest of the replies. Goodness, super angry and defensive. If my face was spread all over, I would just let people know I was okay. She's really aggressive, defensive about not being missing. Almost like her physical well-being depends on making sure people don't think she's missing. I could be wrong, but... Oh, no, dude. This is brain disease. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is what you sound like, motherfuckers. This is what people do when they are... When, when they're faced... Uh, with a decision when you subscribe to an idea or a theory or a cult and this is like this is a recognized pattern of behavior that uh, has been studied and uh, has been written about a recognizable pattern of behavior cult uh, mentality leads people to act this way trump supporters do this shit any number of, like the the 2012 world ending cult supporters did this shit once they realized that you know the world had not ended you start engaging in like ridiculous and almost aggressive denialism and reinforce your opinions even harder he's filming from inside a wayfair cabinet listen to the audio bro like it's true i can tell with the pixels these guys are insane wayfair listing one of a kind of shitty rogues of the last names of recently missing children do they not understand that when there is eight hundred thousand missing kids Every year that, like, you're going to have virtually every fucking name. Like, Griffin. You're going to find a Griffin. The fact is there are actual billionaire pedophile rings and at least Zoomers are wary of it, dude. It doesn't matter. You want to know why it doesn't matter? The issue is, like, as you can see with the way that they're treating this person, if they're saying it into the... If they're yelling this into the fucking void, 
then they're definitely going to say it to her too and act like she's a part of it too now. I saw one tweet from a guy who worked for a Wayfair saying he believed it because the cabinets are really heavy. Yeah, dog, they're fucking fireproof industrial cabinets. Do you know how heavy my desk was? I ordered an uplift desk from Uplift. No child came with it. And it was very expensive. QAnon promoter in the Matrix, aka Jeffrey Peterson, has now boosted a new theory. Furniture website Wayfair is selling cabinets are secretly missing children. He's so certain he himself tagged the FBI. Here's the problem. Motherfuckers like this are like part psychotic, part mega grifters, right? They're, they got like that real televangelist uh, pastor vibes going. So they will latch on to any conspiracy and elevate it and highlight it. They're more experienced with like elevating uh, conspiracies the too. They've been doing it for a very long time. They use this to promote themselves. Can't make this up, folks. He's always behind the human trafficking. It's time, Mr. President, you get this monster. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. Pretty sure it's just Paul memeing. Yeah, last time Paul memed, we got fucking QAnon. Last time Paul memed, we got Pizzagate. This Wayfair shit. Here's one example on Amazon. Couple of the review. But I do know that in the morning I felt refreshed and it had nothing to do with the daily pre-awakening boar oil and dodo feather massage that I get from the 20 legally staffed, of course, Nordic models I picked up on my last trip to Ibiza. If you don't have a staff of not English speaking Nordic models, I highly recommend it. I suppose it was the pillows. This is a fucking meme review dog for a very clearly, you know, insanely expensive pillow. I purchased two of these pillows for my yacht second stateroom when my mistress locked me out of the master state's room. Stay room two nights in our Atlantic crossing, uh, in, into our Atlantic crossing to Ibiza. I drank all our scotch and tossed the helicopter keys in the ocean and passed out in the second. A meme review from 2018? Yeah, of course. I leave little fucking Easter eggs like this and shit from time to time. Like the other day, there was a subreddit post that I saw on my timeline on Reddit. I opened Reddit accidentally without going to a subreddit. And it was like, it was a question about like, um, like, is there a story when you've gotten away with it? Is there ever been a story of when you've gotten away with it? It was like an ask Reddit. I forget which subreddit has like questions like that. Underneath it, I wrote Haas mods. That's it. I just wrote that. And I thought maybe someday someone will fucking come across this. People do shit like that all the time. $200,000 vase. People are still so stupid, dude. How does a child fit in this? Wait, so children are both simultaneously $10,000 and $200,000 at the same time? Like, which is it? Why does the range swing so wildly? You know what this is? I bet this is just for like fucking money laundering or some shit. The irony of this is that they like fucking accidentally uncovered, uncovered a, a, a way that like some people were trying to fucking money launder. Before we go there, here's a history for Wayfair from last year. They had an issue where employees planned Wednesday walkout after learning they are making beds for migrant detention centers. We know where most of the kids who get trafficked are found. They're found in the detention centers. So that is a red flag right there, bloody glove, whatever you want to call it. Darian found this. See that cabinet? Keep a note of that. Samaya cabinet. $13,000 for that cabinet. What these people do, I'll tell you in a second. Samaya is a girl that actually went missing not too long ago, just months ago. And in Ohio, what they do is... Wait, isn't this Samaya? Or was this a different girl that we found? Who are you? How are you going to post about me being missing? You don't even know me. And then your caption sounds retarded. That's great. That, that's so great. Okay, owned, I guess. But let's keep going. When they're selling these children on these sites, they hide it. And they make astronomical prices for cheap goods. And they change the names exactly like you're seeing here. Same cabinet. Different name. Different price. How's that possible? One really unique part about this is like getting mad at Wayfair for selling these items, but not mad at ICE for supplying them. Isn't that strange? Where you're like, yo, fuck Wayfair, dude. How dare they fucking host these fucking these, these sex trafficked uh, children? It's like, okay, well, didn't you just admit that they're getting it potentially from ICE? Thank you. This is yet another really fucking easy to answer a uh, question which is and this is something you should always ask conspiracy theorists how are they keeping this a secret why is some ten dollar an hour andy who's supposed to carry these fucking boxes and shit how is how are they keeping it a secret also why is source dude who apparently wants immigrants also the dude who's trafficking them from fucking ice yeah he wants immigrants to come in so that ice could fucking kidnap them this entire time, it was his grand plan all along, dude. He wanted to increase. Soros wanted to increase trafficking in the country so he, he could give him the ice so they could kidnap him. Pillow. 
for $10,000. Really? And guess who it's by? Ellen DeGeneres, none other. So we go here, Ellen's price is still the same. She's holding strong at $10,000. This is probably still a kid. Now we go to the other ones though. We're gonna watch these prices. <laughs> this is probably still a kid. Dude, this is so fucked. $10,000, Twitter went nuts. They started trending. Now the pillow's $47. This is what Anons do. Yeah, they probably fixed it because it was probably a filing error. They probably logged it incorrectly. Do these people ever think like how much tech is involved in this? How many fucking items are being logged every day? Why do you attribute you don't love the spirit insane of insane psychopathic conspiracies that devil. absolutely that absolutely require you to suspend belief that it required to suspend your belief in like how things normally work in the real world so that you can believe this insane conspiracy?